Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own tinted moisturizer. So this is a do it your own tinted moisturizer video. I will not be on camera because I'm just getting off of work so I'm not camera ready but it doesn't really matter because this is more of a hands on video anyway so I hope you guys don't mind. Now that summer's here you don't want to wear a very thick foundation because you want your skin to be able to slightly breathe. Having your skin breathe in general is the key, but I understand that some people feel that they have to wear foundation at all times and they want some type of coverage. So the thing that I would suggest is not to wear anything that's too, too, too thick because then your skin will not be able to breathe. Another important thing is to always make sure that your moisturizer and your foundation has SPF, whether it's 15, 20, 25, 30. If you're going to be outdoors a lot in the actual sun, actually participating in outdoor activities or whatever the case may be, you want the highest SPF. If you're just wearing foundation just to go to the mall and you're going to walk a short distance, then I would say anywhere between SPF uh, 15 to 20. That's just my personal opinion. Some people feel, oh my gosh, if the sun touches you at any cost, you have to have some type of protection at the highest. But I don't, I don't think that. That's just my opinion. Uh, I feel that if I'm not going to be in the sun for a long period of time, then I will not wear the highest amount of SPF because you have to also remember that when you have a very high number of SPF, it is creating a shield to help protect from you know uh, UV rays and whatnot so you want your skin to be able to breathe at some cost so so first what you're going to do you're going to take your favorite foundation I am using MAC Match Master in 7.0 this is my current favorite foundation because it actually matches my skin tone and I'm going to take my daily moisturizer and this is a Kroger brand. Um, I want to say that it's very similar to Aveeno but this is a, like a, a store brand and it has SPF 15. The foundation has SPF 15 as well so I'm thinking 15 and 15 added together that's 30. So I have 30% of SPF when I combined it. Next what you're going to need, you're going to either need a palette and you can get this at any like beauty supply store most of them have it I got this one from Nigel's Beauty Emporium but it is a Monda uh, studio brand or if you do not have access to a palette you can use the back of a CD-ROM so you have a choice so what you're going to do you're going to take your foundation and you're just going to squirt a little onto the palette and then you're going to take your moisturizer and squirt it right next to it and now you have the two next to one another you want to begin to mix it together and I'm using a spatula and you can get this from a beauty supply store as well so you just mix it and you mix it like that. If it still looks too thick, you can add more moisturizer. More moisturizer is always better because you want it as thin as possible. I'm just going to show you how light it is. You see how you can basically like see through it? So this is the look that you want. You want it to be really sheer. And as you can see, if you can see through it, then you have accomplished it. You can add more moisturizer if you want it more sheer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video. It's just a tip that um, I thought I would share with you guys because I have a lot of people asking. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, rate, and subscribe.